Hi everybody! In this video I'll show you everything you need to install on your computer to prepare our development environment for creating custom Revit add-ins with Python and Revit API. My main laptop has died last week, so it's a perfect timing to install everything on my spare PC I have right here and to show you step-by-step -step process of how to do it. We are going to install PyRevit, Revit Lookup, Revit Python Shell, PyCharm, Iron Python, and there are also two optional programs that we might install. One is GitHub Desktop Application, it's really good if you want to host your PyRevit extensions online and you don't know how to use Git very well for a console. And the last software that we need is a Visual Studio for developing our custom GUI with Windows Presentation Foundations. However, if you're just starting with programming, forget about custom GUI. It will make everything much harder for you to learn and might discourage you from continuing learning programming. Well, let's get started installing everything. So, let's start with PyRevit. PyRevit is the best free plugin you can find for Revit. It will let us write custom tools in Python, and on top of that you get a lot of useful tools shipped with PyRevit, for example infamous create patterns from lines. Also there is an extension menu in PyRevit, from where you can install even more free and amazing extensions, including my own, EF tools, it should be included there by default, so check it out. Another great thing about PyRevit is that you can learn from others, since it's all open source. If you hold Alt on your keyboard and click on a tool, it will open a folder where it contains all the source code. You can open and look how the tool was written and learn from others. So, let's install it. Let's open Google and type PyRevit. Then look for PyRevit repo hosted on GitHub. In here, on the right side, look for releases. Now, scroll all the way down and download .exe file to easily install it. Once it's unloaded, click on it and follow installation procedure. You can also tick off PyRevit Dev and PyRevit Tutor extensions, it has some good examples. Once it has been installed, you can open Revit and verify. The first startup, Revit will ask you about this new add-in, and you should click on Always Load. Then you should see a new tab, PyRevit, with lots of tools in it. The next tool is Revit Lookup, developed by Jeremy Tamek. This is probably the most used tool when I create my own tools. It allows us to look behind the curtain. Each object has a set of properties and methods that we can use in our code. And with this lookup, we can see how things actually function in Revit and use it in our script to our advantage. So, let's install it. Same as before, open Google and type Revit Lookup GitHub. Open repository of Jeremy Tamek. Scroll all the way down until you see build with hyperlinks for each Revit version. Select lookup for the Revit version you are using and download the zip file. Then in the zip file you need to find installer that simplifies installation process. Now, once it's installed, we should have Revit lookup in add-ins tab in Revit. The next tool is Revit Python Shell. It adds interactive Iron Python interpreter for exploring Revit API life. I don't use it very often, however, I use it when I work with some objects and I can't understand how to use them properly. So it helps me better understand how different elements, properties and methods work and how can I use it. So let's install it as well. Let's go back to Google and type Revit Python Shell GitHub. Open Git repository of architecture building system. In here, we need to scroll down until we see installers for different Revit versions. Same as before, choose an installer for your Revit version. Run the installer, and then you should find it in Add-ins tab in Revit. Same as Lookup tool. Now it's time to install an IDE. It's a software where we'll primarily write our code. Think of it like Notepad on steroids for programmers. I will install free version of PyCharm. This is my personal preference, but you can install any other one you like. But in the next video, I'll show you how to add Revit Autocomplete or PyCharm. So if you decide to choose another software, please Google how to install Autocomplete as well, because it's gonna help you to code. And once again, we go to Google and type PyCharm. Then open official website of JetBrains and look for the download button. We are interested in free community version. Run the installer. In here, select all the tick boxes. Once it's finished, it will ask you to restart your computer. I'll show you how to set up your interpreter in PyCharm in the next video. Type Iron Python in Google search. Then go to ironpython.net website. In here, we need to download Iron Python 2.7. Download that MCI installer from this page and run it once it's downloaded. And that's it. This time we type github desktop. And look for desktop.github official link. 
Click on the load button and run once it's downloaded. It will automatically open GitHub Desktop once it's installed. You'll also need to log into your GitHub account to get access to your repos, we'll cover it later on. And last but not least, let's install Visual Studio, if you want to develop custom GUI. Pay attention that Visual Studio code is different software. Go to Microsoft website and look for community version of Visual Studio. Then run the installer and wait until it's ready. In this menu, we need to select what developer kits we need to download. Look for .NET Desktop Development and tick Python Development as well. Then click on Install. Wait until it's complete and you should have it on your computer. My video recording has crashed so I cut it early. Now we have everything we need installed. We just need to set up our Python interpreter in PyCharm with autocomplete for Revit API. I will show you in the next video how to do it. And then we can get started setting up our extension and code our very first tool together. In the meantime, you can get yourself more familiar with Revit API and PyRevit on PyRevit Docs and Revit API Docs. Or the best approach is just by looking at others' extensions in PyRevit, including EF tools. With Alt-click, you can learn more about how people wrote their scripts. Thank you for watching this far. If you enjoy my content, leave a like to this video, or you can even support me on Patreon. Link will be in the description of this video. Also comment below what topics you are most interested in learning related to Revit API, if you want me to make a video about them. My name is Eric Fritz, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.